This is Secondary One Honors, Quarter 3, Part 2, Video Number 6. We're continuing our introduction to vectors, and we'll be talking more about scalars in this video. Um, the first thing that you're supposed to do is draw vector B, and it has components 2, 4. So we are going to, since it's got the 1 in the circle, we're going to find this point, and that's where I'm suggesting that you start this. So starting at that point, we're going to go 2 in the x direction, and then we're going to go 4 in the y direction. That will be my terminal point, and I will connect the two points, and there is my vector. This uh, looks kind of funny there, so I'll erase that. That's vector B, so I'm going to go ahead and label that vector B. Okay, so that takes care of that one. Um, then it says that we can change the size of my vector and make it different, and we can do that by multiplying it by something. So if we multiply it by 2, so we would say 2 times vector b. So we would do 2 times the components, 2 times this vector. And so what that will do is it changes each of our components to be twice the size. So instead of 2, that's going to change to a 4, and 4 is going to change to an 8. It's kind of distributing. So if we have... Um, that new vector, vector 2b, and then if I'm going to draw that, so since I actually got rid of my other one, I'm going to go back and do that one. So maybe you can beat me to it and do our new 2b. So on number 2, I'm going to start 2b, so I'm going to start there and I'm going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so this one is 2b. Now if you notice that it's going the same direction, it's just that it went further. So if we were going to measure like um, a degree measurement, this is going to be the same degree measurement. So the angle that it's moving is the same, it's just that it's longer. How much longer is it? What do you notice about the length of that? Or in other words, the magnitude of it. And so you can also compare it if I was to draw it like this, if I would have started them in the same place and gone 1, 2, 3, 4, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If I would have done that, you can see that it's twice the length. And so this 2 right there, it actually changes um, your vector to be twice as long. Okay, let's go down to the next one then. And it says to draw vector x that has components negative 4 and negative 2. So I'll start where it says 3, and I'm going to go negative 4 and negative 2. And so this is vector x. And then it says what is negative 2x? So negative 2x is going to be and so that's going to turn out to be 8, 4. And so now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to um, where it says number 4, graph 4. We're going to graph the vector negative 2x. And so its components are 8, 4. So starting at this point, I'm going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then up 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, unlike the last problem, the, these two don't look as much alike, and, but if you stop and think about what happened, okay, the 2 means the same thing that it did in the other one. Okay, these, these vectors, one is twice the length of the other, and I could tell that by if I was to take my original vector x, this one right here, and if I was to start here and go down or over 4 in the left and down 2, it would be half as long. But what did the negative do? Okay, the negative actually what it did was it made it go the opposite direction. So if you think about positives and negatives and how positives are opposite negatives, that is just going to change it to go the opposite direction. So when you multiply by a scalar, the main thing that changes is the length. But if there's a negative involved, it will also change the direction as well. You don't necessarily know which direction it's going, but it is going to change the direction.
Okay, another thing that we are going to learn about is that we can actually write a vector as a matrix. And so as we've been learning about matrices the last couple of quarters, um, now you can uh, use this a little bit with vectors. Okay, so we can actually write this vector 5, 2 as the matrix 5, 2. It's a 2 by 1 matrix. And it's important that you write it that way, as we'll see later on. But um, it's a 2 by 1 matrix, and that means the same thing. Now, if you think back to first quarter when we learned about scalar multiplication with matrices, and you multiplied a matrix by a scalar number, so we can actually do the same thing. Um, let's first draw the vector 5, 2. So it says on number 1, so I'm going to start here, and I'm going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up 2. And so this is going to be my vector 5, 2. It doesn't have a letter to name it, so we're just going to call it that. Now with scalar multiplication, like we did um, first quarter, if we were to multiply this vector by negative 3, then it's negative 3 times all the elements of that matrix. So it would be negative 15, negative 6. So turning that around then, that would be the vector negative 15, negative 6. Okay, so then the question is, so how does that scalar multiplication change the vector? So if you think about what we did on the last one, what do you think it's going to do? Okay, so you suspect you know what the 3 is going to do, what does the negative do? Think about what we learned last time. And we can find that by drawing the picture. And drawing the, the picture will actually illustrate how that changes. And so on your paper where it says number 2, we're actually going to draw that. So we're going to start here at this point 2, and we're going to go negative 15, so to the left 15. And then we're going to go down 6. Connect your points. And make sure you put the head on the right end. Remember where you started. And that's your vector. And so if you compare the two vectors, um, if I was to shift this one and just put it on here, if I started right there and went over 5 and 2, that's it's going to be you know the same um, length as a third of it, so it looks like I could do that again. If I would have drawn my line straighter, it would be better. So I could actually draw three of these original vectors in the length that I have my new vector, but you'll also notice that now it's going in the opposite direction as it was before, and that's what the vector does, or the scalar does to my vector. It changes the direction because of the negative, and it changes the length to be three times what it was. So the scalar mainly changes the length. We don't really say too much about the direction with a scalar because we don't know what direction it's going necessarily. It's, we just know that it changes it to be opposite. Okay, still on the same graph, so I have erased the other ones that I've got, but on the same graph where it says number 3, draw the vector 2 times negative 3 and negative 1, so 2 times that vector, negative 3, negative 1. Um, I can do my vector multiplication or my scalar multiplication, say negative 6, negative 2, and remember that that's the same thing as the vector negative 6, negative 2. And so, whoops. So if I start where it says number 3 and uh, go negative 6 and then negative 2, then that would be a scalar vector. So if I did my original negative 3, negative 1, that's, you'll notice that it's half the length, same direction. And so you need to understand what a scalar does. And so now that you know that, you are now ready to do 20 through 24 in your practice worksheet. And this is the end of video 6.